Yes guys, welcome back to Pure Math School. Uh, today we are going with our introductory work, that's our eighth part. In the previous video we looked at, uh, we introduced three-dimensional trigonometry. And today we are going to look at some examples under it, I think about two examples. And this, the first example of today, uh, we have that cuboid of uh, height 18 centimeters with uh, length 24 centimeters and width 7 centimeters. And we're supposed to find the following angle between the line SL and plane PQLM. The angle between the L, the planes LM, SR, and PQRS. Then the angle between the skew lines PK and ML. And let's begin straight away to handle the question. Uh, let me redraw the cuboid. Mm. cuboid is like that it has a uh, height 18 centimeters the length is 24 centimeters and the width is 7 centimeters uh, we have here P Q L M S R K and J and the first question wants us to find uh, the angle between lines. Let me check the question once again. Wants us to find the angle between SL the angle between the line SL and the plane PQLM. So uh, we have to check our S SL SL is this point. We have this point and this point L. So we join those two points to make the line SL. Let me try to join that. Uh huh. We already have line SL and the point PQLM. And I mean, and the angle between that line and the, and the plane PQLM. So now you realize that the angle between these. We actually have this line touching that plane at that point, of which we can pick a line from that point, maybe up to this point to make a straight line, so that we can know that, so that the angle between this line and this plane will actually be the angle between the line, which is casting the shadow of that maybe onto this. We can pick a line from that point up to this point here, up to this diagonal. So we see that since this line diagonal PLP is on this plane, it's a uh, getting the angle between this line SL and the plane PQLM is actually equal to getting line between the angle between that line SL and line LP. Okay, but now what's our LP? LP is going to be is if you see carefully, our LP is actually the hypotenuse of this right angled triangle. If you uh, I triangle PQL, that triangle there. So we have this side and that side. So for us to get that, we are going to have LP squared is going to be given by 24 squared plus 7 squared, since that's a right angle triangle. You know that? That line is is at right angles to that line, PQ and QL, the perpendicular. So we have LP going to be given by root of 24 squared plus 7 squared. That's our LP that distance now how about to get this this angle now remember here this point from this point up to this line here that's 90 degrees because remember this line is on this and this this whole this line is perpendicular to this line of which that base is actually the uh, at at right angles to this to this side to uh, that pqlm is at right angle to this line which means that that diagonal with this line, since that line is also touching the plane, it's actually at 90 degrees. So we have that uh, this line is on the plane. That makes that line and that that line to be at 90 degrees. So that means we're going to actually get get this to be our adjacent side. Since that angle is adjacent to 90, this angle 90. 
then that will be our opposite since that height is opposite to that angle so what does it mean for us to get, get that theta that angle that angle pls okay pls is actually let's name it theta so that means we can now simply get tan since we involve adjacent and hypotenuse you know our tan theta is given by opposite which is going to be 18 out of the hypo uh, out of the adjacent our adjacent for this time is lp which is 24 squared plus 7 squared under the root okay so that our tan our theta is actually going to be arctan of 18 out of 24 squared plus 7 squared like that under the root so that we have our tan i mean our theta is going to be let's first see 18 out of that we have first of all 24 squared plus 7 squared that's 625 then root of that it's going to be 25 then 18 divided by the answer it's going to be that then arctan of that we need to have 35.6 let's round it to the nearest degree the angle is actually 36 degrees to the nearest degree that's if you round of that to the nearest degree which is 36 if you run 35.75 to the nearest degree is going to be 36 so that's the angle between the plane pqlm and the line sl let's check on the next part uh, b b wanted us to get angle between planes between planes p it wants us to get the angle between planes l m s r and and p q r s the angle between these planes so we can redraw that and we see what, what we can have we have something like that my drawing might not be so perfect but so long as we can get something so we have here 24 we have here 18 we have here 7 so we have here p there we have sorry we have p there that uh, the vertex then we have here q we have here l we have here m then s r k j what does it mean if we connect this s r sm and uh, rl to give us lmsr lmsr so that's a plane they want us to get the angle between that plane and which plane and pqrs pqrs and this plane here you'll find that on this plane that plane you see shaded and this plane here the angle is actually that since we have line to that plane this line is on this plane P pqrs and this line is on the plane lmsr so the angle between them is actually going to be the angle between these two lines here okay see the angle between those two lines is actually given that means we if we extract that we're going to have something like that p i mean this is q that l and r so that we have here seven centimeters meaning that then at that point r and we remember that we, we know that this line and this line here they are 90 degrees something like that and we have here that is the same as that height which is 18 centimeters okay uh here is seven centimeters so for us to get that angle let's name it theta okay which is the angle between these two planes that and that those two planes it's actually this theta which is the angle between lines qr and rl so now for us to get that is simply we can we have adjacent here and, op and uh, opposite that still involves the use of tan for us to get the angle between that so that we are going to have something like r tan theta is going to be actually opposite which is 7 out of hypotenuse which is 18 and r theta is going to be arctan of 7 out of 18 <clears throat> what does it mean theta is theta is going to be arctan of 7 out of 18 so that we have here 7 divided by 18 giving us that 
then shift turn to give up turn of the answer it's going to be 21.25 so r theta is 21 we can say 21 degrees to the nearest degree so that's the angle between the two planes angle between that plane pqlm and lmsr so now we can go to the next the third part of that question uh the third part of the question let's see it wants us to find the angle between the skew lines angle between the skew lines uh wants us to find the angle between these skew lines here yeah? pk and um pk and m and lm that was the first the third question I was asking that pk and l m so if you redraw a cuboid you have something like that Uh huh. We have here 24, we have here 7, and we have here 18. Here was our P, K was there, and here was Q, L, M. So now we have P, K is going to be that. We join that letter, those two points. Okay. We have that. So the angle that we actually need is this angle. Angle between the line P, K, and L, M. If you can see now but remember that this line is parallel to that that means actually this angle is also the same as that angle something like that you know that parallel line so if you have a line going through that angle it will be the same as that angle so that's what we actually have and and now that we have to know that since like we can uh, we can join that point and this since we have something related to this line we can join this point to that point so that we have something like this we're going to have something like P, K there. Then we have something like that for this point Q. Where this is the, th the angle we need. But you know that this side, Q, L, there was R here, S here, and there was J there. Q, L, K, R. That, uh, that plane is actually perpendicular to this plane, P, Q, L, M. P, Q, L, M. So that plane and this plane is actually perpendicular uh, they're actually perpendicular that means any line <coughs> on this plane the line on this plane k p l q l k r is actually perpendicular to this plane or any line on this plane so if you realize that we have this line on this plane we have actually this line also that means even this line is going to be perpendicular to this since the whole of this side is perpendicular to the whole of that plane that means line on this plane is actually perpendicular line on that plane or is perpendicular to that plane hope you get that actually in, i mean that qk is perpendicular to this plane and i'm implying that qk is actually at 90 degrees to this pq i can join like that to mean that they are right angles so the line on p pq is actually, actually perpendicular to that why because that that plane qlkr is perfect is at right angles to plane pqlm that means a line on this plane is, is perpendicular to the line on that plane which is pq so now we can see that we have here already rql uh, rq rpq is already 24 rk kq we don't know is this one but we know that this is 7 and here is what 18 it's the same as that height that height that height and that height still 18 so how do we get kq our kq squared will be actually 7 squared since this is also 90 this line is also 90 to this and 90 to this line it's going to be actually 7 squared plus 18 squared what does it mean kq is going to be root of 7 squared plus 18 squared okay so then now we have we can now since we have now kq we can get since we have now pq and kq 
that is root of 7 squared plus 18 squared. So we have adjacent, we have our opposite, we can get tan of that angle. So our tan theta is going to be opposite, which is root of 7, root of seven squared plus 18 squared out of the adjacent, which is 24. Okay, theta becomes the arctan of 7 squared plus 18 squared under root out of 24. Okay. We try to get theta to the nearest degree. 7 squared plus 18 squared is going to give us that. 373. Then root of answer is going to give us 19.31. Then uh, the, with all those other decimal places, divided by 24. We have that. Now the all result of that. Then we get arctan of that result. 38.8 to the nearest degree is going to be 39 degrees to the nearest degree. So that's it. As far as that question is concerned, I think we